Hi everyone, so today I have some really awesome bundles to share with you that LDRS Creative has brought to HSN. Um, and in doing that and showing you guys uh, these and working with one of them today, I also have, I guess, a sort of uh, announcement. But um, HSN is going to be having an like big craft stream on Tuesday, uh, February 13th. I believe it runs from 11 a.m. in the morning to 11 p.m. Uh, Eastern, so... You know, you can make the adjustments for wherever you might live uh, in the country or in the world. And it is going to be something that they're going to have on, I believe, their HSN uh, Plus on their Facebook and maybe one other outlet. So you can check it out then. And in having that going, I am going to be the one that works with the Diamond Press items. So you guys will see me. And this is just a little... Um, material I can show you guys there with uh, my info. It's... I'm Excuse me, so I'll be on at 5 p.m. Eastern, uh, which is 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the 13th, you guys. So I'll have more information. I'll have the link in the description box when it's ready to go as far as getting you to the event if you would like to watch it. Again, 12 hours of crafting. Um, Excuse me, you know, so it will be, you know, 12 hours of crafting. Again, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, Eastern. I'll, again, have the link there in the description box um, to get you right to the event. So more information um, as the day approaches, but for right now, I do have some LDRS Creative bundles that they had sent for my review, and of course, all opinions are my own, and any links I'll have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items to those links. So I believe on that day, LDRS Creative will go on at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern, so that should be 5 p.m. Pacific Standard. Um, but again, there'll be more information about all these different things, and definitely check out LDRS Creative's um, site and their YouTube channel, and you'll get more information there. So I do have the bundles that they will be working with during the live stream. Um, and then with Diamond Press, I'll have other uh, bundles and items that I'll be working with, and you'll see more about that basically on the Tuesday, okay? And then, of course, that, during the live. So um, again, LDRS Creative should go on at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern, I will, if something changes or there's a no different update, again, the links will be in the description box along with like the link that gets you to the actual um, event there. So like I said, they are going to stream it in a few different uh, spots. Uh, yeah, so really excited and it'll be a lot of fun. So I, again, I have the bundles that LDS Creative will be working with. They are already available on HSN. I'll have those linked also. So um, I know people have questions like if there's going to be any kind of shipping deal or other things like that. I do not know that right now personally, and I'm sorry about that, but... Um, you know, obviously on that day, they will uh, let us know. Hopefully, if I find out anything before that, I will let you know because I know I will have that question in the uh, comments. But for right now, I do not know that. Um, but I do have these uh, bundles. I'm going to open them separately, you know, in different videos. But today, I think I'm going to work with the birthday bash. And then we have one that's like about florals. And it comes with the dyes and everything. I believe it's called All-in-One Florals. So hopefully you can kind of see the um, image here of the other floral set. And then here you can see the image of this floral set, which is the tulip set. So this one's a bundle of two stamps, photopolymer stamps, and two die sets. This one's called Just a Note, and it's really cute and fresh and like citrus and watermelon. Like just really cute with the Just a Note. And then it has a die set that'll cut the circle for you. Um, it'll do the inlay of Just a Note. It has another circle in here that you can cut separately. You can cut as a matte layer. You, you know, don't have to use it. You can just use the lettering from another paper and bring it in or however you want to do that. And then the dies for the images. So we'll play with those shortly. But today I'm going to focus on Birthday Bash. Let's open this guy up. And again, these are bundled with the dies and um, super cute. So uh, again, photopolymer stamps, that's what LDRS Creative works with. So if you're grabbing their stamp sets, you can rest assured they're going to be really nice, high quality. Um, we have the little monkeys and like little streamers or like, yeah. And then we have the little uh, rhino there with his balloons that are so cute and the flamingos. And it has like, let's flamingo, hooray, it's your happy day. We have the little piñata, <laughs> so cute. This little guy uh, coming out of the little uh, gift. You have little party hats you can pop on them or just have them separate. I heard it's your birthday and then you have the little monkey ready to hit that piñata there, get all his treats. And on the back, I love that they always have inspo as far as like maybe coloring course you can do whatever you like but they're just having some inspo there for you to give you some ideas to start off and then it comes with the 11 dies here so um again the dice for all our little characters and then the words are separate so i think today's video is going to be very simple with like a focal uh design we're going to color it in and uh, just have some fun there so i'm going to grab some paper as a card base and all those good things and i'll be right back 
Okay, guys, so just to begin, I have a standard A2 size card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half square to four and a quarter if you're making your own card base, and some alcohol ink marker paper, um, just a scrap here. And I think we're going to make ourselves a little character or a couple or however. And then we'll have like a focal point on our card, very um, LDS creative style. So let me just pop this on here. But I hope um, you guys will tune in again. It's going to be a you know, virtual event, um, live crafting from you know at least 12 <laughs> different crafting companies, right? It's 12 hours. There's an hour for each. And um, you'll see your favorite crafting companies on there. And it'll be a lot of fun. Am I a little nervous? Yes. But I think it'll be just fine. <laughs> It'll be a lot of fun. So um, I'm going to take this guy. I like our little character. And then we're going to cut him out. So I'm just putting him wherever on this uh, paper here. You can use a hybrid ink, uh, an ink that uh, works with alcohol ink, whatever it is that you like to use. I have my um, hybrid ink here at Elders Creative. And I believe it's just called, oh, Braven. Cool name. So I'm just going to ink that up. Again, it is a photopolymer stamp. It is a th uh, thin line, right? Like a detail stamp. Um, but if you don't get very clear, uh, crisp images, it could be because of that dispersion layer. So just make sure you're kind of stamping it off a few times first, maybe, or um, taking a little alcohol wipe to it just to wipe that off and then go from there. So I'll do it again and again. I kind of give it a scrub and that's how I deal with the dispersion layer at first. And then after that, don't worry about it. It's not going to continue coming up, you know. It's just once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, it's just priming your stamps the first time. I can give it really good pressure too because it is a photopolymer stamp. It's not going to like give under the weight of that. So I'm going to let that set up. Definitely let it dry if you're using hybrid inks. If I go in right now and start using alcohol ink markers, it's going to smear. So you got to let it dry. And I'll be right back. You know what, guys? While that dries and gets ready for coloring, I'm going to cut down some uh, paper. I just grabbed a couple of paper packs. I have this beautiful paper from the um, celebration pack here. Just a gorgeous set that um, Elders Creative to put together. And I have this paper. I thought, oh, that's so cute because it has the balloons and the balloons. And I'm going to make it a little more girly with the rhino. I think that's really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down four and eighth by five and three eighths. That's my matting preference, but whatever you like. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So with the card base, I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down. And again, I just cut it on a guillotine or paper trimmer. And then I think to make our little guy pop, I might take the circle from the other kit. Let me see. Uh, the sizing on that one, just so that he, she has like a little background, you know, that'd be really cute. So this one, let's open this up. See the sizing on that. Oh yeah, wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to take this guy and just have that as a little, little thing that our little character is going to be on, right? So if you can imagine that background, then our little guy. Cute. Okay. And I just grabbed a pink scrap of paper that I think, you know, this would be really cute with. So I'm going to cut that out and that's what's going to ground our little character. So I will run that through and I'll be right back. Okay, so like I said, this one has, <laughs> stuck on here, um, basically like a matte layer, you know, your background. And then it has the die that can either cut you a matte layer or it can pair with this one. You have a little thin frame, you know, you can put the words in on its own with this matte layer. You can not use the words. You can... <laughs> Lots of ways to play with this. Um, so I'm going to put that piece back. But right now I just want the solid piece. And if we can imagine our little guy right here. And I'm going to do the stamping so that way I can get that on there. So let's say we have our little character. You know, he's going to be obviously cut out from the pieces here. And let's say we have a hooray and, you know, it's your happy day. You can go on the inside or just put it, you know, the same way. It's your happy day. Oh my gosh, how cute. So I was just trying to see where I might want to put this. Our little characters here maybe there so as long as it's on here and then our character of course we can manipulate and put him wherever we like so I am going to go ahead and put this on a stamping platform and just stamp in black ink basically bring this over like this and you know stick it down wherever you can now this is a circle so honestly you can put it wherever and you can just manipulate that even if it's a little crooked you know you can change it up but I'll just put that there I'm going to go ahead and stamp that, and I'll be right back. Okay. got that on there. And then, I'm just going to leave this on here. I think what I'm going to do is take the little um, streamer and just grab 
A stamping block. I usually like to use stamping blocks that are close to the size of, you know, whatever I'm stamping, but that's okay for this one. And I'm just going to take some different colors um, and just stamp away. So I'm just going to do a little streamering kind of in the background here. Let's say if we had used this red, you know, just going to stamp it there. Oh, it's such a thin line that is so cute. And then maybe another one here and maybe another one like, you know, actually I'm going to move this off. And, you know, obviously they can fall different ways. It doesn't have to be the same way every time. Maybe there. And then I'll grab some other colors that maybe I can pull from here. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we have our different components. We have our card base. We have this cutie pie. And I'm just going to basically glue that right up in this area in the center. So centered, but up towards the top. And a lot of times I like to leave something that looks like a doily kind of just doing its own thing. So I'm not even going to try to glue the edges down. Um... Just put that guy like here, and we can put something on that to hold it down or hold it with your hand. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the uh, alcoholic marker colors we would like for this guy, and I will be right back. Okay, so I just grabbed a few different colors for like my balloons, something purple, something a little kind of pinky purple, some pink ones, and then gray for our little guy. Um, again, you know, his little horn there, you know, maybe I'll take the lightest gray that I have and just give it a little color, but I'm not really coloring it in because it's mostly white. Um, that was a medium color. And then for his little body, I mean, you know, whatever it is that you like to do, I like to color things in like this if it was something where it's a dark gray or however. So I'll come in with the darkest gray that I have and I'm just going to give some little color here and there, right? Just a little something. And then maybe I'll go in with the medium one and kind of pull some of that out. And then I'll probably just blend it all through with the lightest color. Maybe a little under here. Maybe a little under there. And then I'll come back through with the lightest one. So a lot of times I'll start with a light color, go to the dark, medium, and then light again. Um, I just don't want to lose my um, definition, right, and what we have here. So I'm just going to do it a couple times and just go over his whole little body and if it feels like you need to come back in with maybe some of the darker color again or whatever you can do accenting afterwards but this is just how I color things super easily <laughs> I always say just get that color down you know and I'm leaving his little nails there his little tail is so cute let me do that with a medium and I don't know if you noticed on this little guy he um, popped his little balloons this is the medium color again um, with his little horn. <laughs> so his little expression is so cute. Um, you want to give him cheeks, you know, whatever it is. Uh, with balloons, I like to just, I think this one might be, a, oh, it has color, good. Okay. Um, what I'll do is like just decide, okay, where's the sun or where's the shading or it doesn't really matter, but you know, just pick a, um, a direction and I'll do them all basically the same. So like I'll come in with this dark rose and I'll just do a little bit like in the darker color. You can do a little, more softly or however and then I'll take the light color and just bring that through and that'll be it so that the balloon looks like it's a little bit maybe see-through you know sometimes I'll leave an area in the center that hasn't been colored at all and then I'll do a little more so that it looks even more like something is a little more see-through let me do that one more time let's try the uh, eggplant so uh, let's go with the medium I just brought out a medium and a light color <laughs> so cute so again with this one, maybe we bring it this way. And then I'll focus around the edge, really getting that blended through. Several times you can see there. And then get that center colored in. And hopefully you can kind of see how it looks like the center has less color, right? So it's a little more see-through. And then I'll do the um, last balloon there and I'll be right back. Okay guys, just to finish it up, I'm just using the darker color to put a little color in that little bit that's like right by, you know, the string. Uh, there are some little dots here that you can color in if you would like. I mean, you know, if you want to pop in a little color, maybe I'll just use the same purple one. The other ones are kind of solid. And so that's that. And let me get the die for him. And then we'll pop them on top of our card and we are good to go. So let me see if I can look right through this or... Um, if I need an aperture, but it looks like, I mean, you can see his little tail there. You can get all this detail here and kind of see where you're cutting. So I think I'll leave it at that. If you want to give like a little edging around this, I would do like a light blue color all around the whole image. So when you cut it out, there's like a little light blue edge. But um, 
I'm going to keep it crisp and clean and white and just put some tape there and run that through and I'll be right back. Okay guys. So there's a little cutie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love how close the die cuts. Look at that. Really nice. And so what I'm going to do is just put some, dimen some dimensionals <laughs> behind our image and I will be right back. Okay guys, we have our little character, dimensionals on the back, and you know, wherever it is that you like to place it. Um, I'm looking at his little legs, his little feet, you know, how straight that is. And I'm just going to pop him right there, I think, so cute. I did grab a white gel pen if you would like, you know, with balloons, it's kind of fun to go ahead and put in a little, a little something. Sorry, my pen wasn't quite primed, but anyway, now it should be working. Just add a little white, you know, maybe a little line, kind of curved line, and then a little dot. And that just makes it cute, look even cuter. I don't know that this one needs it because it's kind of in the back. So just a little accent that is adorable. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, again, the info will so be the, the info and the links will be in the description box. Um, again, 12 hours of live crafting from your favorite crafting companies. Um, I will be on at 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard, 5 p.m. Eastern. And then Angie with LDRS Creative will be on at 8 p.m. Eastern, so that'd be 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But if any of that changes, I will make notes in the description box for right now. I'll have the link there when it's available for the event. I will have the uh, links for the product items that are already available. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.